News has now learned a mobile woman was arrested for allegedly punching her 10 year old daughter in the face at school. Tyler Sappho booked into Metro last week. According to the Mobile County DA's office, a fight broke out between the woman and her daughter at Linecoff Elementary School. Ariel Mallory just walking into the studio now. Ariel, you've been working on this story all afternoon. And you spoke with parents who were very concerned, rightfully so, over this. Yeah, I did, Lenise and Shelby. Now, I went out to Linecoff today. And the majority of the parents I spoke with had no clue this happened and they were disappointed that school officials didn't say anything. Now I'm told by the district attorney's office there is video of Sappho and her daughter fighting. You know what, I'm at a loss of words. I don't even know what to say to that. I don't know. It's crazy. That's how one Mobile County grandparent responded to the news of a fight at her grandchild's elementary school, allegedly involving a student and a parent. Tyler Safo is charged with aggravated child abuse, accused of punching her 10 year old daughter in the face at school. We're told it happened at Linecoff Elementary on August 23rd. Mobile police responded, but aren't releasing details on what happened because it involves a minor. According to the Mobile County District Attorney's Office, Safo punched her daughter, causing her to fall to the ground and hit her again. News one parent was shocked to hear. Wow. <laughs> My response is, uh, parenting nowadays is different. You know, uh, a lot of parents don't see anything wrong with, with that behavior. Me personally, it, it bothers me. The DA's office says the fight was caught on surveillance video. I'm told DHR is involved and the little girl is now in the custody of another family member. Boykin says this type of violence should never happen, especially at a school for other children to see. I think the school should offer some type of counseling because I'm sure that the, the, a lot of the children at this school, it's not the first time they've seen that type of behavior. You know, and a lot of the children are confused because of that type of behavior. SAFO has bonded out of Metro Jail on a $15,000 bond. Now, I did reach out for a comment from the Mobile County School System. I was told they can't say anything because of federal privacy laws. Now, SAFO is scheduled to appear in court on Thursday. Live tonight in the Breaking News Center, Ariel Mallory, Fox 10 News.